Hi, it's Corey Chambers in Los Angeles, your home sold guaranteed, or I'll buy it. Thanks for taking a minute to listen in. In a moment, I'll share with you some valuable information about this topic, buying a home in Palm Springs. If you see any properties that are of interest to you, let us know. We will gladly send you a property information packet on any loft, condo, or house, or a private preview is available upon request. If you have a home you'd like to sell, you should know that I will guarantee the sale of your present home at a price acceptable to you or I'll buy it for cash. This guarantee will allow you to buy your next home without worrying about selling your present home. To find out how much you could sell your home for, call me at 213-880-9910 now. Los Angeles real estate today revolves around escape. Here are some homes for sale in Palm Springs, California. And here are links right here. So the Palm Springs homes for sale link is right here to see all of them with property details, photos, and prices. And here's Cathedral City, which is also popular. And unlisted homes that are not on the internet, you can get access to those right here. There are no lofts in Palm Springs that we know of. It's the land of single family homes, hotels, and resorts that offer a popular refuge from big city and cookie cutter suburbs of Los Angeles. A few tiny homes speckle the desert, but they tend to heat up too fast in the extreme climate. The first thing to be aware of when considering the purchase of a home in Palm Springs is the wind. There's a reason why the area has so many large windmills. It's a wind tunnel. Fall, winter, and spring bring very substantial windy conditions and wind storms that can blow like a sandblaster. When the wind blows from the southeast a few times a year, Palm Springs gets a big whiff of the Salton Sea with essence of sea salt and dead fish. Chances are that you already know the area is a desert, with summer temperatures sometimes rising above 120 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to burn your hand when you touch a doorknob or burn your leg when you touch a car seat. Hot enough to hemorrhage cheap car tires. Palm Spring contains a variety of neighborhoods. The nature of these neighborhoods can change block to block or even house to house. Most homes in the area were built in waves, that is, eras of time during the 1900s. This can be observed as bad plumbing problems in many of the houses built in the 1920s. When looking at homes of this period, always ask about electrical and plumbing issues. For 1970s construction, home buyers often find that they need to replace all the windows. This region is subject to flash floods. Some properties require a French drain to prevent briskly moving storm flows or accumulated groundwater from intruding into the house. Another unique facet of Palm Springs real estate is Native American ownership of much of the land. Indian land, which contains homes for sale on leased land checkered throughout the area. Prospective home buyers must check to see if the land is leased land or simple or fee simple land which means that the owner actually gets to own the land. That's fee simple land. For those who'd like to buy a house to rent out for retirement income, be aware that many landlords who attempt to make money from Palm Springs properties find that they don't make enough money. It's not a cash cow for most. It takes knowledge and experience to make a profit from Palm Springs income properties and short-term rental properties. Some say that now's not a good time to buy a rental income property because short-term tenants trash the house. They come into a party and then they leave. Prospective home buyers looking at properties and neighborhoods to find, they find that it's quiet on weekdays, but then the noisy parties erupt on weekends. Property damage and neighbor complaints are some of the reasons why renting out a house is not always extremely profitable. Families in the area may find that resources are limited for parents with kids. Many of Palm Springs residents are mature singles and retirees with no kids. Notice the artwork in this picture. For many homes that are flipped and staged, the new landscaping plants are mostly dead by August. 